Welcome to our course, Activation Function, and in this part of our course, we are going to learn another exciting activation function, which is called the TAN function. Okay, so we have T-A-N-H, and this actually means a hyperbolic tangent. Again, let me repeat that. TAN means a hyperbolic tangent. Hyperbolic tangent, or just the TAN, is actually very much similar to the sigmoid function, which we have... Um, earlier discussed in our um, past lesson. It's very similar in the sense that it also maps the input values which can be in the range between negative 1 and positive 1. And it also has an S shape. So in a case, this can be said to be just a variation of a sigmoid function. But the only thing that makes the tan activation function very different from a sigmoid function apart from the range is that it is computed at zero. So what do we mean by this? So let's first go back to the sigmoid function and just to have a better overview of what I am talking about. So a sigmoid function has a range between zero and one. Um, if you could re remember if we are going to plot the case of sigmoid function, it just be something somewhere here. But in the case of tan function, we can see that it's between positive 1 and negative 1. It converges here at the center, which is at 0, unlike your sigmoid function, which is at really um, 0.5 in this case. So what is the good thing about having the convergence at 0? So I think that's a very important thing to know. And it's actually very nice to um, discuss here. Um, for some other um, lessons, there are actually a lot of videos on YouTube wherein you could see the discussions on the how to compute the sigmoid function, the tan function, but it may sometimes fail to discuss this one. So tan activation function is, is um, usually used in hidden layers, in, of course, in a neural network. Uh, or it converges at zero and because it converges at a zero, so which means we have um, the mean here, which is at zero, or not really at zero sometimes, because in some cases it, it can just be very close at zero, very close at zero. So here we have a thing here. The mean can be um, zero or just very close at zero. So what do we mean by this? What's the good thing about this? So the good thing about this is that it's very helpful in centering the data at zero, or at least close to zero. When we have this kind of convergence at zero or very close at zero, this makes the learning for the next layer much easier compared to um, having the 0 0.5, which is in the case of sigmoid function. And also in this case, the gradient of the tan function or activation function is stronger. Its gradient is stronger in comparison to the sigmoid function. So how do we formulate mathematically the tan function? So we have in this case, we have the function of z or x, for example, in this case. So we have um, Euler, then minus to the z, or let's have just an x in this case, minus Euler raised to negative x over Euler x plus Euler raised to negative x. This mathematical expression is actually equal to when we say the hyperbolic sine. So we have, for example, the sine sine n or h, let's have x in this case, over the cosine, hyperbolic cosine of x in this case. Do you want to know more about this channel? Let's click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like Machine Learning Essentials, Deep Learning Mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.